Hello everyone. Good evening. Tonight on the kitchen table, uh, a really quick video, uh, which is a, a subscriber request. Dave, one of my wonderful subscribers, has got a P2 V1 and is looking to fit uh, the H3 3D. And of course it has the three at third axis motor at the top, um, which means that the version two of the P2 has this cutaway to uh, to allow that to, to fit in. Um, the P1 doesn't, and Dave was wondering, because the um, there is an upgrade uh, kit which gives you a, a mounting bracket and extended legs, um, but that's apparently on back order everywhere. So he's kind of asked, is there any reason why I can't take a Dremel to it? And I can't think of one. If anyone does know, can you please put it in the comments? But I can't think of any reason why you shouldn't enlarge the hole in your um, in your uh, PU2 yourself, providing you you know you do it carefully and, and have a have a close look at, uh, at what's going on in there. But for Dave, he wanted to know some measurements. So using this rather um, industrial measuring device, because I have no idea where my finer measuring equipment's gone. I might not even have any to be honest. Let's just measure the um, the maximum width of this opening for you. So the maximum width is. Let's just line that up. 10, 22 mil. So it's 22 millimeters. And it extends the other way by, ooh, wobble, 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 wobble. I'm going to lean in and do this here. So uh, it's 10, 25. Yep, 25 at its widest point. You can see the shape. It's kind of a, I tilt this for you. There we go. You can see the profile, of the shape there, and the top of the gimbal though is 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 just a cylinder. And uh, when that's mounted up, you can see that that will fit in there on the bracket. And the bracket is just it's just fitted like well when I go the right way around, I fitted like that. So it is just a circular hole, and then this bracket here will stand it off. So yeah, if you if you I, again I can't see a reason why. Obviously, you need to be careful. Um, you know, you don't want to go through this bit here that holds the battery in place. Um, but yeah, I hope that was I hope that was helpful to you, Dave, um, and anybody else who's thinking of um, you know doing a DIY fit of the H uh, three three D. Thanks so much for watching, and see you again soon on the kitchen table.